Hey guys, I'm Dr. Aaron Horshik, and today I'm gonna to give you some quick tips to fixing your low back pain when you tweak it from heavy lifting. Get up and get down, get up and get down. All right guys, so you just got done with some heavy lifting and your back is on fire. Now, most of the time when we have back pain as strength athletes, we wanna get rid of it as quickly as possible. What are we told? Conventional wisdom would tell us we need to stretch it away. So we get down on the ground and we do what? We pull our knees to our chest like this, we maybe go side to side, we want our back to pop, we wanna to try to get that pain to go away. Well, I'm actually gonna tell you today that the way that you are trying to go about taking your pain away by stretching is not optimal and you're actually going about it the wrong way. Here's why. Whenever you have pain in your back, and this is most of the time as a strength athlete, it's due to something that's occurring at your spine. Now, this could be a facet injury, a disc bulge, it could be an end plate fracture, but something that is deeper within your spine and your anatomy. Now, a lot of times you will be feeling that pain in your muscles because of the inflammatory process that comes with having pain, with having that injury. So you'll feel your muscles spasm up. It's not actually a muscular strain. You didn't strain your QL, you didn't strain your erectors. They are just very, very tight and painful because of the inflammatory process of the injury that is occurring deeper. Now, when you do like that double leg knees to chest, pulling your knees to your chest and trying to stretch it out, you will sometimes get a temporary decrease in pain because what you're doing is you're activating stretch receptors deep within the muscles of your low back. When these stretch receptors are activated, they change the way your brain is sensing and communicating with your muscles and you get a temporary decrease in pain. But what you're not doing is fixing the problem. So what we're gonna do today is talk about what the first step should be to fixing your low back pain when you tweak it from heavy lifting. Now, what I want you to do to start is try this simple test. This is something that I learned from Dr. Stuart McGill. We're gonna do a compression test to sort of help you figure out how your pain is presenting. I want you to sit on a stool, on a box, and you're gonna sit with a good upright chest position, good posture, and you're going to pull up as hard as you can. Try to compress your spine straight down. Did that create any pain or make it worse? Now, most strength athletes will have pain that comes out like this. They will round your back and then pull up. That will increase pain compared to this position. Now, this is obviously a generalization. There are sometimes that will be different, but often what I see is this flexion and compression-based pain in strength athletes, my weightlifters and powerlifters. What we're doing when we do that is we are rounding the spine slightly. So often uh, with good posture, we have this slightly lordotic curve, so a slight curve in the spine. And when you flex and round and then create compression by squeezing down, that is triggering your pain with this test. So that tells you you have a flexion intolerance. The movement of flexion on your spine is triggering your pain. This is common when people have pain that's triggered when they're doing heavy deadlifts and squats. Now. That is also the same position that you're putting your back in when you're trying to pull your knees towards your chest and stretch that out. So we don't want to mimic that exact same trigger by trying to stretch our low back. So what do we do instead? One of the first couple steps that we can do to decrease pain when you tweaked it from heavy lifting is to lightly mobilize your spine with low load with something called the cat camel. So we're gonna move our spine through a slow range of motion that's pain free and we're gonna do this in a way to help ease some of that tension, some of that muscle guarding. So you're just gonna come up and then back down. Now, at first, you're gonna be doing just very, very small motions. You do not want to go very hard and push into a hard stretch or push into a hard stretch that way. You wanna go nice and light. And what we're doing is we're just taking the spine through a range of motion, nice and light. And if you have some of that muscle guarding, because again of the inflammation due to the injury deeper at the spine, this is going to help decrease some of that tension and guarding and help you feel a little bit better afterwards. Now, now that we have that muscle guarding decreased, we wanna do a little mobilization for the hips. Oftentimes, back pain that we get in the weight room is related to problems at the hips. Even though you feel your injury at your spine, the problem often started because of something that is imbalanced at the hips. So we're gonna work a little hip mobility. What we're gonna do is a hip airplane. All you need is to grab onto something for a little balance. You're going to get into a single leg RDL position and then from right here, you're going to twist open the hips 
and then close the hips just as far as you can. Now when you open the hips, you're gonna feel a light stretch deep inside your joint. And then when you close the hips, you'll feel a light stretch in that outer part of the hip right here. Now, something like this, 10 reps for about five seconds. And again, this should not create any pain in your low back. We're just mobilizing the hips, so make sure that your core is braced while you do this. Now, the other thing we need to talk about is not just what you're doing for exercise, but what you're not doing outside of the gym. If you have pain that is created when you are flexing forward, so if you go to pick up a weight, even when you think you're doing it correctly, and ooh, right there, that's tweaking my pain again, we wanna think about moving a little bit differently in a way that will take stress off our back. So anytime you are bending forward, I want you to put your hands on your thighs, and what that's going to do is increase a little core stability, we're moving about our hips, and from there, we're able to pick something up off the ground with less strain on your low back. Doing things like that throughout the day, whether you're picking something out of a fridge, bending forward to spit out while you're uh, brushing your teeth, will decrease the amount of triggers that are placed on your back and help you wind your symptoms down. So right there we have our different steps. We're not going to stretch our back because what that is doing is providing us temporary relief by increasing and activating stretch receptors in our low back. Instead of doing that, we're just going to lightly glide your spine through a range of motion with the cat camel to help decrease muscle guarding and improve a little bit of that range of motion when everything is so locked up. We're then going to improve hip mobility with the hip airplane, and then we're gonna think about moving differently. So anytime that you are bending forward, you're gonna push your hands into your thighs so that you can keep your core braced and move about your hips when you're picking anything up. Other than that, my two steps on top of that would be glute bridges to activate your hips, and performing the McGill Big Three, which I have another video uh, on my YouTube channel. Go and check that out for a way to fully do the McGill Big Three to stabilize your spine. Now, if the box stretch that we did earlier, the box test did not elicit any pain, I want you to go to my website, squatuniversity.com, and there's a blog article called How to Screen Your Low Back Pain. It's imperative that you understand the reason and the why behind your pain so that you can really get a good fix that's individual for your body. There's not a one size fits all to long-term health for your back. So we wanna make sure that we're treating the specific cause for your pain, but the different steps that we did today are a very big catch all for most strength athletes in why they develop their pain. So I hope you guys got some value out of this uh, video today. If you did and enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please like the video and share it with your friends and family. If there's any questions that you want me to answer in next week's video, please comment below uh, and let me know. Until next week, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have